Hi, Brandy. Hi, Kat. <laughs> so, I'm really excited. I am too. I, you know, I think a lot of people have been asking for a gluten-free. Yes. And I'm, I'm coming through for those people. <laughs> and also, you're going to break in our new oven. Yes. With uh, a little muffin recipe. Yes, so. it's espresso mini muffins with uh, chocolate ganache uh, frosting. Okay, all right. So it's got a bunch of goodies in it here. Yes. Um, why don't you take We're us through? We're going to start with our almond flour. Okay. Which this is a first for me using almond flour, and I really liked it. Okay. And I don't eat gluten free. It's kind of <laughs> cool. So this is um, a cup and a half of almond flour. Okay. So we're going to start by mixing all of our dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of ground espresso. Um, finer than a drip grind, uh, but it doesn't have to be an extremely fine es espresso grind because we're okay. baking with it. It's not that uh, crucial that it's powder. Okay, and so you chose the, just the Ladro espresso blend yes. for that? Okay. And then a half teaspoon of each baking soda and nutmeg. Okay. So I'm going to get all of these mixed together and then we'll start adding in our wet ingredients. It's kind of like my steak rub. Mm -hmm. about good. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to add four tablespoons of coconut oil. Oh, yummy. Yeah, good stuff. Sticky stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then a half of it. I'm sorry, one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And it's going to be about four tablespoons of maple syrup. Oh, okay. Me and my fine measuring. Are you going to kill me for this one? Maybe I'll get a spoon. <laughs> eat my recipes though they say it tastes fine exactly even though I have a, a lack of measuring skills reminds me of uh, Mary Poppins when they're pouring the medicine into oh the spoonful of sugar yeah <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna actually oh a pinch of salt too I oh. forgot about the salt okay um, There we go. There we go. Okay, so to blend this, I'm gonna use a mixer uh, mm -hmm. because the coconut oil would be really hard to mix in otherwise. Okay. It mixed as well as I think it's gonna get. Um, it's it's gonna have some coarseness because of the espresso and also I think the uh, flour that we're using. Okay. And so now we're gonna um, put it in a well greased cupcake pan, mini cupcake pan. Okay. Um, I greased it with the coconut oil. Oh, okay. Um, and so each cup about three quarters of the way full makes 24. Um, I, I tend to overfill because I don't measure well. <laughs> so um, this might make a little bit less than 24 depending on how big or small you okay. make your muffins. And then um, you put these in the oven at 350 for eight to nine minutes. Okay. Pretty quick. Getting there. <laughs> All okay. right. So now we're just going to throw them in the oven, let them bake. And while they bake, we're going to make our ganache. Okay. So here goes our ganache. This is uh, dark chocolate. Okay. And so we're going to weigh out about 114 grams. On our nice Hario scale here. Oh, close. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, I'm <laughs> it's 3.9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take and microwave these um, 
30 seconds at a time. So I'll do 30 seconds stir until I um, get a nice smooth texture from the. Okay. So we have nice smooth melted chocolate Melty. now. Yummy. I could just stop and eat this. <laughs> Why finish the recipe? Exactly. <laughs> a spoonful of chocolate helps yeah. the medicine go down. <laughs> <laughs> Paired with uh, four spoonfuls or tablespoonfuls, I should say, of coconut milk. Nice. <laughs> and then we're just going to mix this together well. And this is going to be our frosting. I never thought to put coconut and, well, coconut, coconut milk, milk yeah. you know, and chocolate together, but it's a good pair. Okay, so they are baked and ready to go. All right. So we have to let them uh, cool, and then we'll uh, put the ganache on them? Yes. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, thanks. So depending on how well you grease, these should, <laughs> you should slip right out of here. <laughs> oh, that one left some behind. Yeah, not a well greased section. <laughs> That's okay. You win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's better. You could use uh, paper liners too. Oh, if you want it, that'd be yeah. festive. I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to just take a few off, we'll let them cool before we put the ganache on them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so they're cooled and ready for their ganache. So I'm just going to put a dollop on the top of each one. Make it look pretty. Mm-hmm. Such an easy frosting to make. Yeah. Well, if this one's lopsided, it's going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Give it some originality. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So do you want to let them sit for a little bit? Kind of let the ganache harden? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you have some you made earlier. I do. Right here. Look at mm -hmm. the color change. I know. <laughs> They're kind of greenish. So drastic. These would be perfect for um, St. Patty's Day. Oh, they would be. Yeah. All right. Like, oh, which one am I? I'm going to mm -hmm. grab that one. Mmm. 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 Really good. Mmm. The muffins themselves are not super sweet. You know? The frosting gives it that perfect amount of sweetness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait. There was no sugar in the muffins, was there? No. No. Okay, that's why. Mmm. You know, if look at look how like, green it is. If every day is like this being gluten free, mm -hmm. I, could, <laughs> I could do it, I think. <laughs> I love how green they are. It's yeah, really funny. It is cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm, sorry. <laughs> All right. So these are the um, espresso. Espresso mini muffins. Mini gluten muffins. Free. Gluten free. <laughs> Chocolate ganache. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>